You must go on a grand and glorious adventure, Bulbo. I don't like adventures. They make one late for coral. But this is about the coral. You must teach them. Well, I guess we'll start at the beginning. In order to create the flourishing coral reefs we see today. It all starts with coral recruitment. Coral recruitment is the process of young coral attaching to coral reef substrate and growing. There are two ways in which coral recruitment can occur. The first way is through coral fragments breaking off of adult coral and settling on free space. This is also known as asexual reproduction. This fragmentation is often caused by budding, storms, or other disturbances such as destructive fishing techniques. While this type of coral recruitment helps reefs recover after storms, it does not increase the genetic diversity of reefs. In order to increase the genetic diversity of reefs, corals must go through sexual reproduction to create coral planulae, which then settle on the benthos. Planulae are created by the egg and sperm of corals fertilizing. These gametes come together in two different ways. The gametes of broadcast spawning corals are often released simultaneously depending on moon cycles. This helps conspecifics release their gametes all at the same time to maximize the number of planulae created. The large numbers of planulae created increase the fitness of the parents while enhancing the survival of the offspring. The other mode of planulae creation is done by brooding corals. These corals maintain the eggs while obtaining sperm from the water column. The brooding planulae are then released and are more developed than the spawning planulae. Broadcast spawning is more common in the Indo-Pacific, while brooding is more common in the Caribbean. The planulae then begin their long journey of recruitment. Brooding planulae tend to stay in the plankton stage for only a few hours, while spawning corals can take around four to seven days. This difference is due to how the planulae obtain their zooxanthellae. Wait! You shall not continue! You must explain what zooxanthellae are! Zooxanthellae are symbiotic dinoflagellates that live inside the tissues of coral. Corals provide them with inorganic nutrients that are difficult to come by in oligotrophic or nutrient-poor waters. The zooxanthellae provide the coral with sugars made through photosynthesis. Back to the topic at hand. Brooding planulae already have zooxanthellae within them, which was passed on to them from their parents in a process called vertical transmission. Spawning planulae, on the other hand, do not get zooxanthellae passed on to them and gain their zooxanthellae from the water column. This is known as horizontal transmission. Once zooxanthellae are obtained, coral can begin looking for a place to settle. Since spawning planulae are in the water column for longer, their range can extend further. Where planulae end up is a function of where currents take them, whether there is a suitable substrate, and predator avoidance. Life in the open ocean can be lonely for a lone planulae. Luckily, they are helped by older settled coral, which release chemical cues to help them find their way. Over the years, overfishing has led coral reefs to undergo algal phase shifts, which leave little room for corals to recruit. Here is where my friends come in. In order to open up reef substrate, herbivory is necessary. Once planulae are settled, they mainly have to worry about growth, competition, and predation. Wait, you're not supposed to tell them why all of this is important. It's important because our reefs are home to a large biodiversity of organisms. Without them, many obligate coralivores or fish that depend on reefs for their home will suffer. By better understanding the processes on reefs, we can help combat all of the damage being done by orcs. Would you step on a cat? No, you wouldn't do that. Would you step on a dog? No, that would be wrong. So please, don't step on me. I'm an animal, I'm a living thing Can't you see my beauty and the joy that I bring? Oh please, don't step on me I'm Carl, 